need an Alexa dog collar. Four dogs. Ordering dog food. Ordering dog food. You can bark all you want. I'm not paying for any more dog food. Yeah, Harrison Ford's not having a lot of luck with Alexa at this point. So this is just one of the new ads you're going to see during today's Super Bowl. I'm so psyched for the commercials. This is my jam, actually, way more than football. Joining me here is David Paul, CEO of Dial Smith. David, thank you so much again for being here. Good morning. Thanks yeah. for having me. Oh, we're happy to have you. Yeah. So you guys have been at testing with audiences a lot of these ads for now six years yeah we yeah this is our sixth year uh, pre-testing Super Bowl ads leading up to the game and then we do some after the game as well okay great and you're based here in Portland yep so based here in is, Portland this is exciting for yeah. us for sure okay so one of the uh, things that we wanted to point out you mentioned and I'm curious about the rationale behind this fewer pre-releases of yeah. ads like they're teasing them but we mm -hmm. don't see as many leading up to the day yeah in the last few years we've been seeing more and more pre-released ads and then this year we're seeing more teasers okay um, but we're actually seeing fewer were full spots released. So I think they want to keep that uh, suspense up to get people watching during the game without pre-releasing the whole thing. Though there have been about maybe 20, 25 pre-released ones, so that's about half the slate. Okay, interesting. Why do they just wise up to that, do you think? Uh, you know, I don't know. And it's funny because last night, even on Instagram, I saw a full Super Bowl ad that yeah. we know is coming right in my feed. So <laughs> I think it's different strategies for different companies, whether they want to build buzz or whether they want to get people watching okay. during the game. Something that I was you know, sort of wondering about, the, just the main tone of a lot of the ads, because mm -hmm. politically it's a tumultuous time. The yeah. NFL has had issues with you know, players kneeling and its own issues surrounding yeah. mental health of players. Uh, but the ads are light this year, you said overall. Yeah. Very, so far, everything we've seen pre-release this year has been very light. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of humor, a lot of silliness. We're not seeing anything particularly heavy or political. Now that may still air during the game. There's still plenty that we haven't seen, but so far just a lot of humor, a lot of silly. And did you find that audiences, were they expecting political or did, did you guys get into that? Were they happy with just the lighter tone? People are happy with the lighter tone. There's so much serious stuff going on. On Super Bowl Sunday, you watch the game, you have a few laughs. I think it's it's great to just keep keep it light, keep people laughing. Okay, cool. Serious cameos yeah. this year. Like we just saw Harrison Ford, Sarah Jessica Parker is yeah. making an appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, the dude yeah. is going to be in an ad. Yeah. Star power for sure. Like how valuable is Heavy that? Heavy star. Well, it's really valuable, and to see someone like Harrison Ford who just doesn't do commercials. Right. And then in the Stella Artois ad where it started with Sarah Jessica Parker, and then the dude comes out, nobody expected that. <laughs> and then he, you know, I got a huge laugh. Out of his out of his bit. So now star power. When you're paying over five million dollars for thirty seconds, you need that quick hit. And star power, especially of of people and characters that the audience loves, can be really valuable. Okay, really interesting. And then we have some companies who, I mean, everybody knows their ads, like they're iconic. Yep. And you say those companies in particular, Budweiser's one of them, mm -hmm. are sticking with their formulas. They're sticking, yeah. Budweiser and Coca-Cola are both sticking with their iconic, tried and true, very on brand spots nothing risky but you know beautifully made i mean the budweiser spot so far was our top in all of our testing this year across every demographic really? without question nothing new beat it nothing new beat it okay and, and it that's clydesdales the clydesdales but it starts with the dog face so that ad had oh, everything yeah, that makes sense. it starts with the flapping gums of the dog yeah and then it moves into that <laughs> sweeping wide shot. And then it ends with a socially responsible message. Mm. So really it's kind of this brilliant arc of a story told only visually, but it's got those classic elements people love. Okay, what did your test group look like? The dynamics or the, the, the um, characteristics? Yeah, so we went out to kind of a nationally representative sample okay. of households. So we didn't, we didn't pick and choose, we just tried to balance the audience really well so it's really a sample of everybody okay really interesting yeah. well hey david paul of uh dial smith yeah. thank you so much i really appreciate you coming oh, in thanks for having me it's yeah fun. and are you, are you as pumped for the commercials as i am yes absolutely okay. we're, we're glued to them all afternoon cool do you want to pick a team that you're rooting for no okay cool i'm just rooting for ads <laughs> that's all all right great hey david